Hello folks, welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we are just feeding the chickens. We fed the chickens here at Court Farm and our chickens at Stonebridge. So we've got 15,000 years left. Uh, should be enough to feed our chickens up north by our production facility. So yeah, what we'll be doing is quickly top those up. And then what we could be doing next is having a look at some alternatives to spread in and get our fertilizer states on our fields because we've got a ton of manure, tons, well, not as much as we've got a ton of manure. So yeah, I'm thinking do a bit of muck spreading and sorry spreading. Of course, that requires having fields to fertilize. And in the last episode, we've done some planting, so we've done our canudas. So yeah, we turn on the PDA, so canuda. And yeah, we need to start getting these fields prepped because we're in October. And I want to do some crops, winter crops, so wheat, barley, oats, and rye, so... I'm not going to be doing alfalfa, and yeah, I may do sort of like wheat here, barley, oats, and then maybe right down here where the alfalfa was. I had even some more fields up here, but we've also got our grass fields, and they are fully fertilized, and are they ready to cut? Please be yes, yes they are, so... We can cut them and either get them for these bells or put them into a bunker silo or even get a fermenting silo. But anyways, before we do that, we need to go to feed the chickens, so I'll see you over there when we start feeding the chickens. So there we go, we've got the chicken feed up here and even I said we was looking at muck spreading. First of all, we actually do need to not only get our fields planted, but also I've noticed we've got a ton of pallets of just stuff uh, like our apple juices, we've got potato, like crisp and that, and all of our soups and all of our preserved foods as well, so they need to be taken care of, so I think I'm going to prioritise that first of all. Because, yeah, if we go into our productions, so yeah, flour and that's looking good, obviously. Our immense amount of, yeah, apple trees and that, but things like, yeah, so we need to start transporting those. And you know what? I'm tempted to set those to sell for the time being, at least. And I'm going to make sure we've got butter being produced. So you've got milk in here, butter's been turned on, so that's good. And then the key ones are the potatoes, chips, so or crisp. Okay, what are we running out of? Ah, that is canola oil, so we can turn that one off. So yeah, we've got tons of preserved foods. Soaps for days. And just looking at everything else, looking good. Because it has been a while since I've been on. Apologies, there, a little coughing fit there. So, yeah, we need to switch the engine off. And, yeah, we've got so many pads. We've got one, two, three, seven pads here. And, yeah, I just can't remember where I put everything. Oh yeah, actually no, we even hit the pallet limit as well, so we need to, yeah, get everything taken care of sharpish, so uh, which one do I use, John Deere or the Massey? Well, I think the John Deere would do, I think it's well, got a bit more of a weight to it, so lift these pallets on. And we've got a small trailer here, we've got the least. Well, actually that reminds me. We've got some bells to sell, so yeah, 150,000 litres. These are from the contracts, and 
everything else we've been doing previously, so what? Ask us seldom. There we go. So his contract's completed. And wait a minute. Why aren't these contracts being completed? We're just setting the bells, but oh dang it, so let me sort this out a sec. So right, you get yourselves 14 grand, 20 grand and a bit because I've gone through that contract or those contracts. But uh, yeah, because obviously part of those are from bells we've technically earned money from and subsequently sold, so yeah, it doesn't make sense of claiming the full 20 grand and still claiming the profits of all the bells, so and yeah, these are 2,000 euros each and now I need to figure out where in the heck are all of these going because we've got so again so much stuff in that uh, it doesn't help having such a thing what a week gap in between episodes so okay everything's relatively consistent so yeah just looking at prices and yeah pretty much any cell point will do so Let's get these pads loaded up and then we'll go and sell them. So I think we're going to get some huge profits from these. We've got everything loaded up and yeah, I had to like, change everything because technically I've already gone and done this bit. However, as everything was sold, we went to sell the, some of the apples, uh, or apple juice, sorry, and the game crash. And yeah, that's going to be one of the things we're going to be talking about this episode with wrapping up this series. But, anyways, first of all, we'll start to go and sell our product so start off at seven hundred and seventy thousand pounds uh, we should hit over a million also we grabbed some eggs as well we've got some excess eggs we can sell and yeah not quite a million just yet that uh, is two hundred and eighteen grand but yeah as I go and get these apple juices loaded up these should be spawning right so yeah, as we get these I'm just going to chat about where I'm standing at the moment with the series and where it's going, especially with recently releasing a brand new Let's Play series on Reef Report 22 and wrapping up uh, Survival Challenge. Just Survival Challenge not finished, just Survival that's still going on for some time. Uh, so we've got a pad something underneath us, so that's lovely. No. Ah, oh, crap. Do you know what? I'm going to put those in there. Uh, we'll deal with those in a bit. But, yeah, so... Obviously, one of the main problems I've been having with the series is the game crashes, of where consistently I'm having game crashes, and... Yes, I know it's down to a mod conflict of some sort. I've... Yeah, think about it, and also look at is it this one pallet snap or this one bells and all that I've used in the past. And to be honest, I don't know. 
where I've got so many mods enabled like at the moment. And this is after a very recent clean out, like what was it a few episodes ago? As I'm just holding through the menu, so obviously we've got our four DLCs. And yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that is seventy seven. 80, 82, 85 mods I've got enabled on this series. Obviously I'm not using all of them at once, but even the fact I don't have, let's say, we'll purchase mod X, if I've got it downloaded, it can still cause a mod conflict. I've seen that before, things like with the Shrew Harvest stuff, where it works fine that with the little bells. However, once you've gone and put a little bell into the straw harvester and that's get the pellet, that's when the game crashes. That's a mod conflict. And yeah, I suspect it's something to do with some of the either this bull stuff or the bolt purchase or stuff, but I even gone at one point off deselecting everything and still having game crashes so honestly it has been frustrating especially I love the map I love the series and that I love the fact that we came onto this map as a contractor we started out here in this very area and over time we've grew our business we've purchased our farm we purchased our second farm and now we're at the point of where we can earn millions upon millions. And yeah, is it coming to the point now where I'm starting to do repetitive tasks? In a way, yes. We are doing stuff a bit repetitive, but personally I love doing it. I love enjoying it, so this series will end at some point in the near future. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about schedules and that with how I'm going to be releasing my videos, especially with four Let's Play series, doing map tours and mod reviews. And yeah, obviously, the plan is Ravenport 22. I'm going to do two episodes a week on that. Vintage Survival, two episodes a week. And then, yeah, if I could do one episode a week on farm. If I could do two, lovely. And yeah, with the final challenge, that's got two episodes to go, so as of recording this on Monday, so yeah, I think I'll wrap up survival challenge this week. Just so it doesn't linger on for too much longer, especially with your ship being hit and miss, that's the thing where I've also been doing some reflections on just where, in terms of my videos, engagement, and just everything else being a content creator. But yeah, I think in, if I start skinning things back a bit, of having, yeah, and this year's going to do two Let's Play series. I've mentioned it before, I'm thinking of only doing two Let's Play series, but then Ravenport 22 came out, and I thought. Yep, snag on that. That was good. Classic, nostalgic map for me. Yep, the first two episodes are do are out and doing relatively well. Obviously, the first episode of any Let's Play series I've done is going to be a good hit. And yeah, as I'm recording this, we're at almost 300 views on that video. So, I, it's nice. I can't complain on that. But uh, yeah, over time, I sort of keep things interesting, keep things unique. That's why with another Let's Play series I'm going to be doing soon is on Iowa. Most likely Iowa Plains. I'll have a look around, see if there's any other Iowa maps. Because yeah, I was thinking of, like, initially I was thinking of doing a map in Texas. Unfortunately, the only map available on consoles for Texas is Big flat Texas or something on those lines and yep, Dagwin's done the space series on that. As a mini series and that's the thing, I want something I can do 
at least 20 or 30 episodes without being dragged out. Corfarm, yeah, perhaps I've dragged out a little bit. Obviously, it's a map that has been overdone, oversaturated in terms of the content. And all I'm doing is just put my own spin on things, like starting off as a contractor, build up to our farming ads. And yeah, that has worked in well. Some good videos has become part of this in terms of the viewership and the view count. Obviously, with those four packs of apples there, or apples and juice, I'll go and deal with those later, but we sell these. And just, yeah, I want to. In terms of the content I put out, put out in the future, oops. Steady on. Oops. Steady on, steady on. Very tippy toppy there. But yeah, in terms of the content I do put out, i will rather spend a bit more time on videos than in said videos and that, and just in general making slightly better quality in that. I'm not saying the videos I have been putting out are not quality, and I just realized we're going the wrong way, so because we want to sell everything container or the wholesale, so you know what? Screw it, I'm just going to cut from here. So, yeah, in terms of the court farm, our, perhaps I'll say is next year's harvest will be our final harvest in that. At least for now. I may do the odd videos here now on court farm. So, yeah, I love the map, and yeah, perhaps some of it is because the map is very close to home for me. It's literally about half an hour, 45 minutes away on the bike. If it's beyond the bike, then at least half an hour at most. Maybe even 15 or 20 minutes, because I am a little bit of a speed freak when it comes to motorcycling. I have to use that fence to catch us, and even when I compare this to Comston Farm, like, that was a good series and a good map, and again, relatively, especially if you're in the States, a close map me, where, you know, Comson Farm is about just over an hour's away from me, about an hour and a quarter or so, and again, me being on the bike, even on my Honda 600, a little pesky little 600 there, yeah, I can just get that done in an hour or so, if I was on my Blackbird, then, yeah, that is something different, so, yeah, as mentioned, Oh yeah, I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, I do love my bikes, part of a bike club in that. But yeah, anyways, so we need to sell this, and I think we'll do it here at Wholesales. And yeah, that's the general, just a little bit of a talking piece, that's all of where we're going, what the plans are, so yeah, final year coming up. Looking forward to doing Iowa, Iowa and that. Most likely, as said, Iowa Plains. So I do have some ideas I want to do on the map. Uh, I'll say a little bit of a roleplay aspect, possibly. But yeah, definitely a good storyline. Just yet, yeah, at least spend at least a week or two on scripting it out, planning it. So at least then, when I start the series, I know what we're doing, and yeah, just saying out the foundations of a good old Let's Play series, but, so yeah, that's enough for me waffing on and chatting away, and now we need to figure out what to do next, and most likely it's going to be start working on these fields, getting these fields drilled, because yeah, with the McKinsey, oh, what, what I always say it's McKinsey, the Kinsey planters, yeah, we've got this one here, and yeah, I'm just tempted to do everything in that, and it is our direct draw, right? Yes, it is, so yeah, do wheat, barley, oats, and rye, so she can be used 325. Can't really use this, but yeah, we'll grab one of the other John Deere's. Yeah, we'll grab one of the John Deere's, get the Kinsey hooked up, get it filled. 
and then we'll start tending to these fields. So right, actually before we go and start working the fields we need some towel. But before we do any of that, let's quickly get this sugar sorted. So we've got a trailer load of sugar beet. This is going to go in here and we'll get a ton of sugar on you that for sure. Because this is a very speedy production, so that's that. Next we'll go and grab the sugar beet cut. And we'll use the trailer with the sugar beet cutter. So that is that sorted. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all of it. And yeah, we get a lot of sugar. And for that, we can make apple honey and a variety of other products. And actually, can we make cookies? Okay, yeah, since the first time we've done like, a proper cookies now, nah, like, yeah, okay, the first time we bought products in. But yeah, obviously, we need some form of grain. Unless we do sugar cookies, which are the less profitable. Actually, if we do, we can make chocolate, put some eggs in, we've got butter being produced, put some flour in. And yeah, we can make chocolate chip cookies, actually. So, you know what, let's do that. So, milk in that, good. So, I'll turn that off now. We'll make the sugar. Perhaps we shouldn't sold those eggs, but we'll turn those on. So yeah, we need, need to get some eggs over and some flour. So yeah, I'll be done later on. I leave these pallets there for the time being. But yeah, so we need to plow these fills first of all. So if we have a look, obviously you know what the plan state or fertilizer stakes are, but let's go. Yeah, a lot of plowing these doing. So so all of our major. <laughs> Holds these plowing, including this clumped fields, and yeah, it's including the potato field. So, yep, now what we're gonna do is just let's spend some time. It's gonna take, I'm very bad at judging times, but I'll say two hours or so. Yeah, we'll get all these fields plowed and drilled. Now, because we're doing it at 20 miles an hour, we can get away with the ploughing. We're going to get any soon, so we don't need to worry about rock picking, I don't think. And then, yeah, we'll do wheat, barley, oats and rye, respectively. Do need to remove that belt at some point, but you know, that's a future problem, so... But anyway, so let's go and get these fields sorted. And yeah, I'll see you folks later on in the afternoon by the time I'm done here. And then, yeah, we start looking at getting these fields rolled.
another, what, three, four hours? We have got all the fields plowed and drilled, so let's have a look at the PDA. So currently the PDA breaks down as following. Fields 5, 6, 10, 106, and this grass field, well, it was a grass field by the farm. There are canoe fields, we planned that in the, what, last episode or episode before. Next, 107, 52 and 54, that is our wheat field. Moving along, we've got 53 and 56, that is our barley field. And then next, we've got something a bit bigger, oof, uh, nope. Haven't done all the drilling, we'll get that drilled, oopsie. Could be forgot about that, I was trying harder workers than that. But yeah, so anyways, 55, 58, 59 and 57, along with 109, which we will complete. That is our oat fields. Yeah, that's oat, so we're going to make some oat cookies. And then that's the, the field by the grain mill. 110 and 45, that is our rye. And obviously I sold some fields initially, 14, and I was going to sell some more than that, but I thought, you know what, for now we'll just leave it. So, we've got grass fields here, and we've got grass fields up here, that's blank, and that is blanked. And that's because when we go plant next year's crop, there's something we'll be doing in March or April, so I'm thinking, to be honest, Maybe cotton in that, do a little cheeky cotton harvest on something like 88. Get a cotton harvester up there would be nice. Just, again, it's, a lot of it is just something fun and interesting to do to wrap up the series. Also, I'm thinking of doing fill beans, because if you remember, they were extremely profitable. So, even though next year will be our final farming year. I will skip ahead to the following June and July to sell the fill beans at its maximum price. But yeah, besides from that, and actually to be honest, I'm thinking we can't even do something like linseed or again if we we'll do rye, you can do linseed rye. And we can plant like spring barley and that spring wheat and that. Because, yeah, that will lead us to harvest in late. Because I don't do all the harvesting in one month. I won't try to spread out the harvest. But, yeah, that is easier said than done. So, fair enough, I forgot about how the little bits of oats. But, you know what? That is easily solvable and manageable. I took the wrong turn here. And also. I thought, okay, whilst we're doing the work now, whilst we have, have workers on, I thought, heck okay, let's do some contracts. So we've accepted two bean contracts on 32 and 24. Oh, didn't mean to see that. So yeah, just looking up here. Just mind these awkward chicanes, which I hate in real life. So yeah, we've got 300,000 years of silage, and we're just going to sell them all, like, initially the plan was to sell you some silage for the animals. That's why I did, like, the old grass fields now, like, for let the TMR run out. But to be honest, they're not really consuming that much, like, if I go to Court Farm, yeah, that's lasting a while. Even though, to be fair, they are what, 50 cows that is? And actually, we do have cows at Stonebridge. Yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, they're low on water and that. But I'm thinking, for the final year, wait until spring that, send these Angus cows to slaughter. Yes, they're not properly fat and that, but yeah, we can send them off to slaughter and that. Send them off, get a bit of profit from the meat. So yeah, at the moment per cow we'll get about a grand, so overall not too bad. And yeah, we're only feeding them hay because as we've learned with basically with beef cattle, 
You don't need any Tia Morinat. And yeah, the hay will do just fine. But I'm thinking, sell those cows. I'll get a bunch of dairy cows in, get some heifers in. And I'm going to pay the premium price of adult cows, because, yeah, at the moment we're at 1.3 million. And yeah, I do have plans for that money, like, obviously with this map initially we had a BGA, but because of X, Y, and Z things we've done during the series, and like the mod map crashes and that, I ended up getting rid of the BGA and that. So I thought, yeah, place the BGA with a bit of a faster one than that, but that did not work out for contracts or anything else like that, so, especially with profiting. See, so yeah, I'm thinking of putting down a custom BGA. And I'm thinking there is an area around here. Plot 121. Behind the animal deer ship and that. And actually, because we got this one of these, because I thought, yeah, this is another bell trader. But saying that for 11 grand, six large bells, and. Okay, if I get a bit creative, you get another two on the back. So that is eight. And then you can put another six on top, another six, another four in that. So yeah, if you want to like stack this up, you can proper stack it, so I'm just checking, make sure we're going to the right cell point. Yep, forest deer ship it is, so 300,000 litres. And yeah, we'll go and sell them. So contract's completed. Boom, 30 grand for the contracts. And how much did we get for those bells? So you have 30 grand for the contracts and 62 grand for the bells. Next we're here at the dealership. And yeah, I'm thinking I was here, so I wonder why it was randomly emptying. Actually, why is it emptying? Because that should not be empty because we had it full initially. But anyways, here we are. And yeah, we've got our, some eggs from the farm. But also, I've gone and I bought some more eggs and this is all for the cookie factory. So yeah, we've got the flour, we've got the eggs. And yeah, this will kickstart the cookie production. And for these, I am going to let the cookies spawn and we'll sell them. I may transport them and put them in the pallet storage in that. And actually, could we do with more eggs in that? Because I do wonder. Looking at all the ratios, and I'm thinking... It's equal amounts of flour to eggs for either the chocolate chip cookie or... Anything like that. We can do normal sugar cookies if we wish. But yeah, it's a bit of a waste of butter, so... The thing at the moment our bottleneck is the butter, so actually could we get some more butter? So if we go down here, go down to our pallets, this will pallet some big bags by Yos. And how much are these? Only what screw it, let's get a couple of these. That's sixteen thousand liters and can we get milk? Oh yes we can. So yep, yeah, I'll get a Bowser over for that, so... Oh, too many padlets. Fair enough, let's get let's get these sorted first of all. So yeah, then we get this up, taken over. And then I'll meet folks at the cookie factory. And there we go, as we're just heading into the farm, so that car move out of the way. Really? Come on, you got plenty of space, just go! Oh, come on. Yeah, as soon as I start recording, literally, you can go! The road is clear! Move up the freaking me! Alright, oh, has someone got an RPG here? I could do with an RPG at the moment. So, one minor outburst later. 
I've got everything loaded up. Not the neatest, but hey, I never said I was pro at stacking pads now. So you've got these loaded up. And yeah, ooh, yeah, just got to be careful of the bumps and divots. Don't go into the culvert as well. And yeah, I'll try to figure out where the entrance is. Yeah, just here. There we go, breezy hedgerows. Ooh, what are these pallets? Ah, that's pig foods. Pig foods. So yeah, they can be sold, and that they may have may have spawned before we set everything to sell. Fair enough. Got big structures there, so yeah. Now we need to start putting everything into the production. So yeah, let's get this all offloaded. making cookies so so we'll make sure everything's set to store store and that good actually it would be good if we can do a variety of cookies what does that require that requires cheese we got strawberries we can get and transfer it over only problem is the raisins, so actually well let's do that. Let's get a variety of cookies. So we'll need butter and strawberries and cheese mainly. So I think what we'll do is we'll set you to store. So the butter on, the cheese and chocolate is on. We've got plenty of sugar here. And I'm going to need a tanker for the milk. So, what have I got under animals? So, 32,000 litres. And yeah, I'm not going to go with the TARDIS XL. I'm going to look at what other options we've got because, yeah, it's good using the TARDIS, don't get me wrong. However,. There is a limit. Uh, see now, I'm looking at I'm really six off here. Wait a minute, I didn't know this had a spreader system. Could have used this for three spreading that, but yeah, the liquid tank is 43,000 litres, so. Well, that looks good, so yeah, a couple of trips for those. We'll buy a bunch of milk, get transported over. And yeah, we'll do that in between episodes, I think. So, I think for now, we're just going to put these over here because we can do them storing the cookies and that for now. So, yeah, that's, that's working on its way. And the strawberries. Here they are. So, yeah, what I'm just going to do is set all of these. To distribution, I know not all of it's going to go to the same areas because of our other productions, but you know what? That I can live with. But yeah, I'm thinking as well with our final harvest and that doing cotton could be good so we can get some more fabric and clothes from that. So yeah, that is where we're going to leave it today. So, what I'll do in between the episodes is get the milk transferred over. Well, I may show a bit of it at the start of the next episode. 
Also what I'll do is, whilst we've still got a bit of daylight, I will finish off the outfield. I mean, I thought, whilst we're here, let's quickly wash these off. Yeah, the Demco Sly Tank and this, these were under lease, so we'll keep them till the end of the day and return them. Hopefully before everything shuts at 6 o'clock. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button. Throw it down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be from our Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.